Lately, I've been really curious about how different game engines feel to use. You know, not just the features, but the actual experience of making something with them. So I decided to try a little experiment. I made the same Vampire Survivors clone in 4 completely different engines. It wasn't about performance or graphics, I just wanted to see how each one changes the way you think about making games. And honestly, it surprised me. First of all, I opened a new project and started making basic player movement. I tried to implement velocities and acceleration, deceleration, but it was not easy as I expected, so I continued with the direct position manipulation. So after that I decided to make the player not a ice cream? I don't know what that is. So I did a neck dude i don't know why but <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing okay anyway as you can see there is no game because we don't have any enemies duh so after some coding now we have an apple that follows the player but if you look a little closer you can see that it's not actually following it's teleporting and we, we don't want it to Teleport to player. So stop! Don't teleport to player. Um, I fix it now, and it should work for. <clears throat> it works fine. After that, I tried to implement some bullets with literally arrows, but somehow it got deleted in its own, and and I don't want to suffer more. Okay, and here's the results. I think Scratch is not the best game engine. The reason I um included scratch in this list is because it's actually easy to test general ideas in because you don't code you put some blocks and you get some cat uh, and that's it L let's go to the fun fact about love is it's actually pretty low level i mean it doesn't come with a lot of features as i expected because they said it was easy its api was pretty fun to work with actually i love the concept of it's like your render canvas and you are drawing with a pencil you set the color and you draw it a rectangle um pixel stuff you can see the window opened after a lot of pain it was not supposed to be hard like this i don't know i messed up something and it confused me okay but the one thing i hate about love it's not actually lo about love it's about lua its syntax is the most annoying thing i ever worked with i mean their decisions are just ridiculous there is no arrays you have only curly brackets and if you want to get a size of an array you put a hashtag before it it's very confusing what's the difference between do and then i don't know <clears throat> back to the video you can see a player moving finally after that i try to implement enemies but you can see they are going inside each other and that's because we don't have any collisions i looked at the love ducks but it seems they don't have a physics system built in as expected so i tried to implement aibb collision and it turned out actually terrifying they like a snake and it's pretty it looks horrifying and that's it it's for the love i wanted to implement more but lua just i don't want to work with lua in bevy i had a little experience with it so I started by trying to create a window, but it took a little long because Rust's compile time is one of the downsides of Bevy and Rust. So iteration speed was very low, but here you go, there is a player and a window. After that, I worked on the enemy, but my favorite thing about Bevy is ECS. Uh, it's the best ECS I ever used. I used Flex, it was very good too, but Bevy just doesn't feel like a Rust library. Like, it's <laughs> amazing. It's not hard, Rust itself is hard, but Bevy is not that hard and it's extremely flexible and modular. That's insane. And and I later implemented AIBB collision and yeah, that's it.
So before I explain why I have a face cam right now, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Water. I literally couldn't make this video without it. Or like exist. So anyway, I don't know why this guy is talking to itself. I started creating the player and coded it and here it is. After that, I implemented enemy spawning and enemies in general and since Godot has physics, it works better than other alternatives. So you may ask why did the other versions are more basic than this? It's because Godot is a full game engine, other ones was either not a game engine or just a game framework. So Godot gives me more tools to create and because I'm more experienced in Godot, I can implement more things in it and I started adding bullets and played with the numbers. And the game's a little basic, right? So I made a grass texture and added it. I know it looks pretty well. So find the awesome cat pack by Admurin. Admurin. Edmurin. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is art. I put it in my game and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.